Jen to Jules. So hopefully several of you are going to be hopping on tonight because it's our grand finale of 18 days in a row of live DIY inspiration for you. And I feel like there should be confetti or balloons or something, but it's just me and my craft room and all of you. <laughs> I already see Kara hopping on. Hey, Kara. Um, we have a super fun project planned for tonight too. And some fun giveaways. So as everybody coming in, I'm going to go ahead and start taking the backers and glass out of these frames I've got here so we can get rolling. Megan waited all day. Me too. I was kind of like nervous. Like I said, it was pressure. You guys were like, it can't be ending. <laughs> Look it. You guys are so sweet. Lots of hearts. Hearts coming in, which is awesome. That's like a big virtual hug. I need lots of hugs tonight. Hey, Carla. Hi, Brooke. <laughs> All the way from Nebraska. Hello. I'm here in Arkansas. If you guys, um, if you guys have not um, been on a video before, welcome, welcome. My name is Katie. I own Junk to Jewels, which is a DIY workshop located in Northwest Arkansas, and I love to inspire you to create all sorts of beautiful things for your home so you can live in a place that you love. And I tell you, last night and tonight are projects that you can do like fraction of the cost. Like last night we did a $5 tobacco basket, essentially. Um, and then tonight we're making a, I'm gonna show you two things. You guys wanna hear? <laughs> um, kind of a lantern project or terrarium. So I have totally like multiple sets of frames we're gonna work with and I'm gonna show you lots of inspiration for how you can turn picture frames into your very own upscale um, lantern or picture or uh, terrarium for your home. So Megan already went and bought some read. Did anybody last night after watching the video go by um, some of the reeds to make the tobacco baskets? You guys will have to let me, let me know. Rita hates that it's the last one. Well, it's not like I'm gone forever. Oh, whoops. I'm not going anywhere. I just am not going to be here every day. <laughs> I tell you, this um has been so fun, but it's it's a commitment to do this every night, and I want to um, unpack some more boxes around my house. I think I've lived here over a month now, and it feels like there's still a lot to do, so um, that's mostly what I'm going to be doing. So, okay, so I have these picture frames from Walmart. We'll get rolling with the projects. Hi, ladies. Oh, I'm going to tell you about the giveaway before too long, okay? So if you will share the video, you'll be entered to win um, one of our big old words here, okay? So you guys have probably seen me do multiple projects with these because I love them. Um, we did moss the other night. I've used them on sign bases, or you can just paint them and put them on your wall. Um, I have a few different words, and so whoever wins, we will message. You just have to share the video to win, and after the video, probably tomorrow, I'll probably give it 24 hours, I will message the winner, so we may have to check your, like, other folders sometimes. Those are a little bit sneaky, and I'll try to post them here on the Facebook page as well, um, but if you share, I'll get you one of those words. I'll give you the options that you can choose from, and we will mail that to you, so how fun is that? You'll have your own DIY project to do. Whether you want to do moss or whatever you would like. I'm just throwing those backers in there. Deborah ordered the read as well. Cool. Thank you for sharing, Carla. Hi, Kara. Okay, so I have these white simple frames. These I picked up at Walmart. Um, they were like two or three bucks. So um, some other frames I got at the dollar store. Uh, so picture frames is what you need. The first item we're doing is more of a terrarium style with the picture frames. So you actually need eight of them. So I have four that are the larger size. And then you need um, four smaller ones. So I'm opening those up. Thank you for sharing, Lisa. Look at, look at. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I can't see the shares on here, but I can see the viewers. I wish I could see the shares. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Um, Cause I was gonna say, if we hit, um, so many, for every 25 shares, I will give one of the wood words away. How about we do that? I got a stack of them. So that means um, the more of you can win, the more we share. So hello, hello. I can see viewers, but I can't see the shares right now. But afterwards, I will be able to. So um, just share away. Let them know. Let your 
crafty friends know, come hang out with us because we are making a really cool um, project tonight. Actually, two fun projects because I couldn't decide on one version to share. I couldn't decide. Hey, Terry, thank you for sharing. Okay, we got some ladies who want to, to win one of those words, huh? <laughs> okay, so I have seen these terrariums are like little kind of greenhouses, I guess. I don't know what you call it, a miniature little greenhouse. And um, they can have like a modern look or, a, you know, a shabby cottagey look, which is cool. Um, I got these white frames and I didn't even think they needed painted. So it's just going to be a white little terrarium. And you can put succulents in it or you can make a little vignette in it. Okay, so I've got all the glass and backers out of my picture frames. Um, these are wood ones. Um, I bet there were some of them were like plasticky um, frames. And you could do that. I just don't have as much luck painting plastic or anything like that. So definitely if you get the plastic, um, probably get the color that you want. Participate, sorry Lisa, I can only see one thing of your comment. You're saying how to participate in what? The giveaway? Just share the video and I will draw randomly from those that have shared um, to win one of those big wood words. And I'll show it again here in a few minutes, so. Okay, so I'm just, some of these like will wiggle out like teeth, the little black things. I don't know what they're technically called. We use them for our picture frames too. Um, little tabs, the black tabs. I. You could leave them on, I don't know. I thought it was a little bit tacky, but you could. So I'm gonna have to glue my glass into my frames, but I'm okay with that. So I'm just pulling, oh, Craft Wars. Lisa wants to know about Craft Wars. Okay, cool. We'll talk about a couple different, um, I've got a lot of picture pulling too. So I'm removing these from all my frames. Um, hi, Brianna. Okay, so Craft Wars, for our fifth birthday, um, I was treated, tried to do something to um, give back instead of, you know, sell something to you all. <laughs> so what we're doing this year is donating um, proceeds to uh, Metaviver, which is a foundation that raises money for stage for breast cancer research. So how we're raising the money is having y'all um, pick a teammate, and it's $99, and it is February 3rd, and we're gonna have a craft war at our studio. And so um, I'll be in touch with you if you sign up a team. You're gonna get a team shirt, a swag bag. There's some really cool prizes you can win. But basically you're gonna make three projects and you have about two hours to paint. You get like 30 minutes planning prep time um, to pick out your projects and make your plan and all that. So you're gonna have our studio at your tips, like at your fingertips, all the tools, the paints, There'll be some extra embellishments and things like that. So if you decide to say, go with a bathroom theme, you could pick a color scheme. You could make, you know, something to hold the toothbrushes and toothpaste, something to hold a towel, a sign for the wall, but like your team gets to choose whatever. But it's kind of, it's gotta be fast. And then you're competing at the end. We will post all the pictures from the teams that participated. Uh, there's 10 already and then the Facebook world, all the fans here will get to pick. So that's for local. That's what we're going to do to celebrate our birthday. So all your, your team fees will be donated to MetaViver. So that's super awesome. You get cool t-shirts. You get to take home your projects. Yeah? Okay. So are you signed up, Kyle Barr? Who's signed up? Anybody signed up for Craft Wars? Any other questions about Craft Wars? Let me know. Um, thanks for sharing, Joy. Um, and then what we're going to be doing, hopefully tomorrow I can get the info out for what we're doing for our non-local friends. So um, who was here saying they're from Nebraska? Uh, where are y'all from? Let me know. Because we have an opportunity to, um, proceeds will also go to MetaViver for this. We have a fun project that we will send you out and we'll do a virtual paint party. Um, and it, it's fun. I'm sure I saw it in it. Like, I'm going to show you pictures tomorrow, but it's going to be two-sided. It's going to be a door hanger and we'll mail you the door hanger and we'll have a little paint party. And so that's something fun that you get and then you also get to help that charity and we'll get to celebrate Junkie Jewels turning five all together. So, see Megan can paint from Ohio. <laughs> yeah, we're in Rogers, Arkansas, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, buddy. Um, but, 
Yeah, the craft wars will be a fun day. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I've got all the little tabs pulled from my frames. Now we're getting down to business, girls. So this one, I said, takes eight. Let's um, see. I have a, a glue gun, and then I also have Gorilla Glue that says it sets in ten seconds. I'm a little. I'm gonna try the um. The hot glue first. Actually, I don't have extra glue sticks. Hey, John. I think he's eating again. Can you help me get some extra glue sticks? I think they're there in the hall. Sorry, I think he's eating again. Um, can you give me some extra glue sticks? I think they're in the hall. Maybe in that basket in the window. Sorry, I've unloaded and reloaded my craft room because of this wall and John working in here with the tools to like, he was helping cut around the outlets and such. And then I was painting furniture in here last night. Hey, Chels. Um, okay, so we can use the super glue if I can't find the extra glue sticks. It's okay. Um, it might be a white jar in the basket on the this way. There's like a, I think they were in milk glass. Okay, so this super glue says it says in 10 seconds. So I might like that better than the hot glue because I think the hot glue I would need to hold about 30 seconds a piece. So. Hi, Connie. Karen loves all the faces you make. I was talking about that the other night. I, I have no poker face. It's all right out here. <laughs> I was, um, I'm that way in general. I'm just all out here. I, yesterday I had a situation where it's just, it's so evident to me that I am like, you know how some people bottle things up and then like explode all at once? I'm just, I'm not that way. I'm like word vomit right away. Like all my feelings, all my everything just comes right out. And I wish I was not, um, not that way sometimes. It's not my greatest strength here. Okay. So we're going to start gluing these. It's okay, babe. Sorry, John's looking for me. Okay. So I just need to put a bead of glue down like one flat edge of this frame. We'll see how this glue comes. Wait, I'm going to put my... Glass in first. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do less glue with the glass because I don't want it coming out onto my. Oh, look at you throw me three super long glue sticks. Okay, let's switch to that. Hang on. This gorilla glue. I'm not sure I believe this 10 seconds. Doesn't it make sense that it would glue the cap on? I don't know. That's why I bought the little one and I had a two pack. So. And no filter. I guess so. I'm just all feelings and emotions and. Uh, who knows? I'm not a crier though. I just talk a lot. I don't know. <laughs> My glue gun still has moss on it from the other day when we did the moss color lever. So that's wanting to kind of come off. That's fun. Bigger 
I love it that we can just work through this live. You can see all the, the hiccups, right? Kara's laughing at me. So if you see junk, at, junk to Jules commenting, that's Kara. She's getting a good chuckle about me yakking and my glue drying. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for sharing, Pamela. I think you've been here at almost every video. So, okay. We're going here. This is like cheers. You come in and everybody's like, everybody knows your name. I know what faces to look for. But is it anybody's first night? I know um, Brooke commented earlier today. She said, I've been silently watching. I'm like, what? You've just been silently there. You gotta say, hey, say hello. Tell me your favorite thing. If you're new, say, I'm new. It's your first time. I see lots of you saying you're sharing. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm just, it worked out good to just put the glue in the four corners, so. Thank you, Jessica. And that's, um, I see Vanessa, it's her first night. Jessica said that she feels like she feels like she knows me now. And I feel the same about y'all. And that was one of my biggest things about doing these videos is I just want you guys to feel like you get to know me and get to know um, a little bit about Junk to Jewels and what we're all about. Um, so that is the best. Andy's left crafting. Yay. Okay. And I don't know if I told you, I got these white frames at um, Walmart, and I'll show you a couple other options. Sorry. That was exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. Because I 
because it just dries too fast or I have to hold it so long. Maryland, hello, Wanda. Well, you'll have to virtually paint with us in one of our upcoming paint parties or something like that so we can craft together, huh? <laughs> oh, Jody, you are sweetie, sweetie. Okay, I'm done with the hot, the Gorilla Glue that says 10 seconds. So, I'm running a strip down the side and hopefully I can get my house together in 10 seconds. Oh, hang on, hopefully it's a long 10 seconds. Okay, I mean, I wanna line them up pretty straight so my lantern will stay on. Okay, so E6000 I do love, and that's actually like my preferred adhesive, um, but it does take like 24 hours to set up and I wanted to build it live in front of you guys. So I'm trying out this Gorilla Glue. I thought if anything, I could do a combination of the hot glue and the 10 second quick super glue. Cause like, look, oh yeah, that feels sturdy. Okay, and I think the best way to make my base of my lantern um, solid is to not have like end caps, but is to offset the edges, okay? So like, let me see if you guys can see how that, what I mean. So this one is not gonna go inside of this one, it's gonna go on the outside. So kind of like when you fold a box like over under um, to lock it in place, I think that's gonna be the best way to make sure that our glass stays good, okay? So I'm gonna run a bead of glue down that side. Hang on, I got I put a little super glue in that corner. Okay. So now I just gotta wait for this to dry, wait for it to dry. You guys are gonna love this project. Are we like excited for this? Cause I feel like this is like, lanterns are expensive and you can use them for every season and fill them with different things. I'm super excited, I kinda like the fresh white. Okay, so it's like a little puzzle. If you guys, I don't wanna break it. But if you guys can see, like my last little piece is gonna stick in there. So it's like to the side of this one and to the front of this one. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so now I need two beads of glue to make my whole house here. Wait, hang on. I'm on top of that one. I gotta make sure I put my glue in the right place. Hold on. You guys know I can't talk and craft hardly. <laughs> and some of y'all were worried for me last night with my tobacco basket, but I pulled it out. <laughs> um, my friend, uh, Jessica over at, um, she blogs at uh, jessicawatts.com and her page is called A Sweet Life. And she was like, I, you're so brave for attempting that online. <laughs> I was like, well, I think the 18 days have just um, erased all my fear of doing it. Now I'm gonna fail boldly, right? <laughs> In front of y'all. At least maybe you've seen me do it enough times right that you know I can kind of know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Okay. So I'm squeezing that. Okay, that's why it's loving it already. Yay! Yes, it could totally breathe spring, right, Tammy? Okay, so, and I'm gonna show you, like, this could just be like a cute little <laughs> box um, that you could put stuff in and use it lantern ishy, right? But what I want to do is build a little top for our house. Oh, I see hearts. So you got to make sure when you're picking out your um, smaller frames, there was some that have like chunkier surrounds and stuff that didn't quite fit the top of my house nicely. So these, you know, see widthwise they fit kind of close. Okay. So I've got another tool 
that I'm recommending here. So I'm going to glue these together to make them one piece. They're going to be the roof of our little greenhouse. Might have to open my second little tube of glue here. Seems to be holding everything so good though. I'm pretty excited. to make this work unless you want to help me Kai <laughs> hang on I gotta get my other glue I can't make it work <laughs> hold on it made my way over here I got it okay and the lid sorry girls sorry you want to read some comments for me and Kai is popping in here um, what are the costs for all the frames? These ones I got at Walmart for like two to three dollars a piece. Um, for the eight by tens, and then these are like two dollars or less, maybe like a dollar eighty-four. Um, and then I got some other ones from the Dollar Tree that were just a couple bucks. So depends on what size you want and what style frame. I mean, they had frames that were like eight dollars a piece, but I just looked in the the cheapy frames, and these ones are solid wood or press board or something. They weren't like plasticky, so. Zero dollars. <laughs> You're silly. Okay. I'm squeezing those together to make our little roof. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> there was a bunch of comments that just went by. I was trying to read for me. It'd be my eyes, huh? Hi, Karen. Hi, okay. Grandma Joyce. I think I'm gluing this one to the table. Hang on. Gotta wait a few seconds. And then we're gonna see how we can make this roof stick because I think we might need some duct tape in the middle. <laughs> I don't do too many projects that require duct tape, but this might be one of them. Cause I've gotta make like the peak stay together. And that's what I might try here. I've got some transparent duct tape, but you could use white duct tape. <laughs> I wanted me to try nail glue to glue the things together. I'm done with my gluing for now, but thank you. <laughs> you need to try it. So. She thought, because it dries really fast. Just like when she puts on her fake nails. Uh, okay. So I've got my roof going. So let's um, just play with how, I haven't made one of these before. <laughs> you know. What kind of glue did you use? Um, Gorilla glue that is like 10 second glue. Okay, I see the deal. Like, I'm not gonna have a ton of space at the base to glue them on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think what I should do, I think I could glue them like this, and then let's see, because maybe we can make a removable top still. <laughs> you guys see Kai's eyeball in there? And this was like so little prep. What? What are you giggling at? Rachelle says, I know this doesn't have anything to do with your project, but I love the color of your hair. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I think like three people have commented on my hair tonight. That's funny. I just say make it as white as possible. <laughs> or gray as possible. <laughs> um, Here, I'm going to show the glue. You want to hand it to me? Yeah. We got the two, the pack that had two little ones, because I was worried but, that the one big tube would be like dry out to itself or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who does my hair? Shay at Cabin Red Salon in Bensonville on Jane Street does my hair. She's been my hair for like three or four years. She's a rock star. 
There's tons of great um, hairstylists in that in there too. Uh, Julie's in there, um, Taylor, Crystal, um, Amy. <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of very talented ladies with the hair, so check them out if you need a, a hair girl. Oh shoot, hang on. Girl says you're too young for gray. Oh, huh. I disagree. Holding this one, hang on. I don't know why I'm holding it up like this. I guess that's because how it's gonna sit. I could lay one in flat, but. Um, and they said, thank you for the close up of the glue. Uh, I don't know what glue my hair is. <laughs> it's probably like. Yeah, I don't know the recipe for that. Being kind of stubborn. <laughs> Sam says hi. Hi, Sammy. Okay, let me do one more bead of glue in here because that kind of, I dropped the ball there. Is that, you have the full one? Okay. All right. Tammy's asking, what's your base color? Well, probably for my hair, but I don't know. I'll ask more questions when I go. I'm sure that I had go in a couple weeks. <laughs> so. Hmm. Okay. So I'm letting that dry a minute. Then this one's going to have that roof, okay? So let's, I'm going to tell you about my other project. And then like this idea I have. I got this little package of little feet. You want to show them that? Up? Um, this was at Walmart and it has eight feet, two like sets of four. And I think that we could put these on the bottom of the lanterns and like glue them so they have a little thing, little platform. Kaya's giggling, what is happening? Valerie <laughs> said Sherwin Williams would probably give you a hair color. Like a color <laughs> for your hair. A swatch, yeah. <laughs> I know, as much as I like, as much as I plug Sherwin Williams because I genuinely love their paint, I should have some sort of sponsorship for that. <laughs> I need a color named after me, huh? <laughs> or my hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the 8x10 is pretty, like, large, but I, and so this next one's going to be kind of smaller. Okay. I gotta be patient enough to let the glue dry. I'm sorry. Hang on. I want you to see the roof of this little terrarium. <laughs> okay. I was hoping we don't need the, the tape, but you know what I'm saying? Like we could possibly put duct, duct tape in the middle to make a hinge. I don't know yet. <laughs> I feel like that would hold it, but now I got the super glue on my fingers. This is like when I try to make gingerbread houses and you like rush it too fast and then it like caves in when you're trying to decorate it. <laughs> happens to, happens, every happens time. to me every time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my paint color um, name, Karen. She's a jewel. <laughs> can you use a staple gun for this? I was afraid I would split the wood because it's like not real wood. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, this feels like it's holding now. Look at the roof. Oh, no, it's not holding. Okay, so when my glue dries, I think I'm just gonna set this on here. Okay, like see how this is gonna go? And this looks a lot like the Joanna Gaines, like little, um, hers is galvanized. Ah. What about brackets? Stinking glue. Yeah, you could totally do like a little um, hinge bracket. I'm gonna let this try to sit and dry over here in a space not by me so I can work on my next thing. Yes. Okay, you work on that. Okay, so we'll look at this in a minute because everything else held very nicely with that glue. Okay, and let me actually I'll do a little switcheroo because we're moving on to our next project. Another inspiration. So this one's gonna be more lantern like, and I'll show you hopefully how to make a cute top. Yeah, I might need some a knife. I don't know. We'll see, right? A knife. I got some idea. 
You need a knife? A knife. <laughs> My little niece, Sam, she doesn't say K's very good, although yesterday, Sam, you were rocking the K's. It was 80 <laughs> when she was ready. But she called, she couldn't say the K, so uh, a knife was an ice. Ice. So Kaya just said, do you need a knife? You know, <laughs> those little kid-isms. Okay, so this one's much more, like, manageable in size. This, do you need more glue? Are you good? Yeah. Um, Kaya's going to try to fix my roof for me, okay? What? <laughs> okay. Dry, so, no, uh. so this one, these were actually, like, black frames, and I did pick these up at, like, Dollar General. Um, and I spray painted them outside. They weren't super dry because it's kind of cold. Um, so hopefully we'll stick there. But I was thinking I could do the, um, oh, I forgot to put my glass in again. Well, I'll do it without the glass, but you guys saw me put the glass in, um, the last set, but basically glue your glass in and then you can put this guy together. Again, offsetting your sides. this time these are very lightweight these ones I mean they must be more plastic even than wood I don't know they're very light okay oh shoot I just put glue on the wrong side I'm like horrible at telling y'all what to do and then I'm like gluing and talking okay hang on no good okay I got three sides together. Hi, Jenny. How are you, Karen? Okay, ladies, make sure if you haven't already, share the video um, so your other creative friends or wanna be creative friends can come craft with us. And we're giving away um, our large wood cutout words tonight. So I will message our winners and I'm excited to give lots of prizes away. So for every 25 shares we have, I'll give another one away. So I'll check the stats. Mimi said she loves the wall behind you and she's asking oh. if you're at the studio. No, we're at home. This is my craft room. We just did the wall, golly, what day was it? I don't know, last Thursday? Um, me and Karen did it, so we recorded a lot of it <laughs> and our tips. So one of the things that I'm going to do after, um, I kind of have a minute here after we do the 18 Days of Lives, um, we're going to have like blog posts and better pictures of all the finished projects and stuff, so that way you guys have a place to reference them after um, afterwards and you know, when you actually want to go make this project or whatever, that it has a home and you don't have to watch the whole video, that type of thing. And then links to anything um, specifically that, like, the reeds one would be linked on the tobacco basket one. So that is my big chore is photographing everything and getting it all uploaded for you. Like, we have tons of cute Valentine projects that we made. And so I want to get my table set and take some cute pictures of that um, so you guys can see how all of it comes together and what we're using everything for. Oh, she glued her own finger. <laughs> Is the nail glue working? Ow. Other than to glue your finger to the... I would actually <laughs> put it on my... Okay, so these, these are glued together. So, again, these were black, and I spray painted them to, like, get more of that galvanized look, which is very popular for farmhouse. Um, I could even take, like, this is a shiny metallic. I could take a brush with, like, a little bit of, like, dark gray paint and kind of spongy it around there. Um, or if you've seen the cinnamon technique that I do to make it look rusty, um, you could sprinkle some of that cinnamon in that paint, and that would be... Uh, that would be cool too to have like a rusty old lantern so this one I didn't put the glass in but hopefully you guys can get you just joined Stephanie cool well we are using picture frames basically from Walmart and the Dollar Tree to make these really cool um, lanterns and this frame okay so for this style of one you can decide what style you're gonna make the other one you needed eight picture frames this one you need five of the same size and I'm trying to break it, which I just did, <laughs> which seems crazy.
crazy. Um, but we need some pieces because we're going to make a little roof, y'all. Like, it's going to be cute. We're going to make a roof. So, I need, this is where I need the knife, Kaya. I kind of was too strong there. Will you give me a knife, I think? Or maybe Dad will saw it. So, let me show you how you're going to do these. So, there, you got the four pieces. We need four pieces that are like the smallest side. So these other two big pieces I need to cut down. And I'm thinking I could do it with a saw or maybe even just a little craft knife or something. But they had some little um, metal pieces in there. I pulled those off. Okay, so I need four pieces just like this. And because I think then I can get John to to cut it for me <laughs> while I'm in here. Hey, honey. Yeah. You want to help me? Because <laughs> it's my what 18 days of... noise? Um, I was doing a little happy dance. Like, say baby. Because it's my 18 days of lives. And it's the finale. And we need to show them how to do this. Okay? So, I have... Two short pieces and two long pieces. I need the long pieces to be the same as the short pieces. Do you think I should use a saw or a knife? Very lightweight. So I was just thinking I'll lay this one on this one and then I'll make a little mark and then I'll just snip it off. Snip it off. <laughs> I did ask a man for a pen. He always has a pen, <laughs> don't you? John, I can't figure this out, okay? John has everything, like, I always need chapstick, he has chapstick, I always need, you know, money, whatever he has money, and he doesn't carry a purse, like, how does he have everything, and I'm so disorganized, I don't understand, <laughs> he's using his knife, you gotta show, demonstrate, he's using his pocket knife, <laughs> are you just gonna saw it off with your pocket knife? There's just marking in it, mm. I'm not sure this is going I mean, it's kind of particle board, yeah. but I think if you had, like, those um, document frames that were the real flimsy, like, soft metal, you could totally, um, like, score and, um, like, even snap off part of it or whatever. So this is cute by itself, but let me, I'll work on these little legs, because I think that's a cute idea. So once it's all together, you'll just be able to, like, lift it up and, <laughs> whoa, you'll be able to decorate and then, like, set your lantern on top of it. I mean, I suppose you could find a plate or a platter to also set it on, but, um, okay, so I got these little legs from Walmart, um, and I think they look a little like bun feet on our lanterns, <laughs> bun feet, I mean, is that, <laughs> that would be cute, right, you guys can't even see, they were the same color, yes, they well, I'll paint nice them too. the same color, but for now, I can just, glue them on and y'all can see how cute it's gonna be. I thought this was like a little twist on the lantern ish. Sorry, I'll just yeah. do it this way. So okay. Is there one on the porch or you don't know? No, I put it up yesterday. Oh it's sticky. Did you just break it? Oh okay I just snapped it off. Okay. I scored it. <laughs> oh, I scored it. I think I can make some sort of roof with what we've got going. <laughs> Here, let me see it. Hang on. This turned into family craft time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are just... <laughs> you're like hot mess. If you've been here all 18 days, you're not surprised, right? <laughs> okay. I did get all, yeah, all four of the same size feet on the... Um, I am still live, Bobby. Hello, hello. Are you just coming in or did you go out and come back? <laughs> I'm still live. I'm still um, collecting shares. You guys were giving away our big unfinished words. I think they're, I don't know, two foot by three foot or so. They're pretty big pieces, but I'm going to mail those out to some winners after tonight. So we're celebrating all 18 days. We made it. little feet on my lantern and then they're helping me make the roof. We had to modify one frame to make the roof. John's done 
neck. Do you see his bald head? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she is a good kid, D. <laughs> so for today, we have a little fender bender. Oh, well, I don't even know. It didn't even bend the fender, so what? Do what? you want to speak for yourself? or? I hit our trailer. <laughs> she hit the trailer in our driveway. Trying to turn around <laughs> in the driveway. We have like a huge driveway. <laughs> and she just too close. She thought she drove right into it, so. Right? Yeah. And then like the trailer's right here. I gotta I gotta like show you this. Like, here at the demonstration. Okay, so the trailer's right here. And then I drive down the driveway this way, and then I pull in around, and then there's a little hill. So you gun it up the hill and then you turn and I scraped my fender right there. <laughs> like she just thought she was had enough space and she didn't but everything's okay her jeep has a little bit of a black mark. scuff from the trailer but okay so I'm like playing with how these are gonna go but I think this is gonna be cool okay Very sturdy. So. I think you have to match them. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Karen, if the video is choppy. I don't know. Sometimes if you go out and come back in, I think my Wi Fi is pretty good tonight. Um, I haven't seen anybody else complaining, but that happens sometimes. I'll turn the country. Okay, so I'm just using two of those like 45 degree angles and just meeting them up and then I'm going to have all four just like meet in the middle and that's going to be the top on this house. You could even find like a little wood ring or a knob to put on top or something. It would be cute. A broken one. I, it's hard to read the comments from here. I can't read them. I'm blind. Okay. You gonna get up and read some more for me? Sure. Okay. So. Whoop. Got a little hot glue sizzled, huh? Ooh, all little spider webs of the glue in <laughs> your little face. <sighs> uh, Karen said it might be me too because she lives in the country. Oh. I feel ya. Mm hmm. You don't even live in the country. Well, I mean, the Wi-Fi out here is like... We have no Wi-Fi, guys. Yeah. Not great. It could be a cute little look, fairy house. Look! Yes, it could be a fairy house. Like, is that not cute? And this is... So there was five frames that were $2 each. So $10 plus like a dollar little bun feet. And yeah, that side I glued the wrong side. Kai is cleaning it up for me. But I think I might try to go back and, um, like I said, add some of that cinnamon and make it look rusty. But I think I like the galvanized look. It looks like, you know, farmhouse, everything is galvanized. You guys, thank you for the hearts. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> um, said, are they saying it's okay about your accident? <laughs> yeah, they were like, it's okay, Kaya. Everybody has one or two accidents before they're 18. Yeah, and that's exactly why we didn't get her a brand new car. Um, because I did the same thing when I was her age and it just, it does happen and I'm thankful that it was in our own driveway oh, and minimal damage. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm loving this. So cute. And like, so you know, okay, so I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to paint the feet to match it. Yeah. Just be gentle with it. I mean, these aren't like welded together. <laughs> so blue. Okay, so this guy, if you break it, hold on. Um, oh, you should use chicken wire instead of glass. That would be so cute. I have lots of chicken wire because we did that cloche project the other night. Um, oh, yeah, it'd be super cute on your coffee table, Karen. Like, I'm like, oh, but let Kaya help me with the roof. Hold on, so I don't break it. Feels good, feels sturdy. So, I think just setting it on there is probably gonna work. But, okay, so I know you guys think I'm crazy with the duct tape. But I think that I could make a duct tape seam or 
add a hinges. Do you know what I'm saying? I think hinges on one side would, would be easier because then if you actually want to put a terrarium in there, you could. Yeah, because it just like barely balances on the outside. So I don't feel like I'd want to. If you have small children, you would not want to send it out. <laughs> Kai's going to play with the, the duct tape method. So they had white duct tape and this is transparent duct tape. So um, I felt like that would help. But like I was going to say, like I got this little cute home side at Hobby Lobby and then we have like our mossy um pot we did the other night and I just put a little faux succulent in it I thought like how cute are little things in the jar like everything is cuter if it's like inside something like in this cute little house I don't know if they can see that but they even have like a little bird <laughs> hang on I'll make it so you can see I'm gonna angle it down yeah maybe Okay, can everybody see that? <laughs> like from a weird angle, huh? Um, but anyway, I could just uh, picture it filled for whatever season it is, for spring for sure. Um, oopsie. Did you put a bottom on it? I didn't put a bottom, so you just like set it on on down over what you I want to. I the duct tape all uh -oh. over there. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, the white frames came like this, and then the silver ones I spray painted. So I wanted you to see both options. I also picked up some other frames from um, Walmart, and these are like very plasticky. Like this color scheme is totally not my thing, but I wanted to see like it would look really cool with like a detailed frame like too. So these are very like streamlined and simple, but you could get a more ornate frame. And these were still around three dollars each. So depending on what look you like whether you want clean like the metal galvanized I thought was really good with the clean lines um but yeah okay let's try this I just like rigged up some duct tape okay let's show them yep. <laughs> let's show them how it looks okay little pieces yes <laughs> so you to show it. there you go no. Now I gotta clean all my glass because it has all our fingertip paints on it. <laughs> I think it's too far this way. <laughs> well, ankle it or it's gonna be on oh. again. A two person job, huh? Oh, you stuck it down. <laughs> oh, I stuck it Don't down. Don't push it, you're gonna break it. I guess you gotta figure out where this is. <laughs> We're a hot mess. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we're almost there. Okay, so we made a little hinge out of duct tape. <laughs> Good job. I feel like it's gonna stick too. Look at it. There's my happy little house. Is that not totally cute? I love it so much. So that makes me happy. That's our, our 18 days of lives. Is that not fun? Okay, so keep on sharing. I'm so excited. I think there was like about 200 of you viewing at um, once. So that was cool. Uh, Juanita, she is crafty. The funny thing is that she does not appreciate my crafty ability at all, you know? As when you have a craft- Totally mangling all this stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. When you have a crafty mom, you don't like, appreciate that they're crafty she just is used to it that's what she grew up with you know <laughs> um but anyway you guys i am totally blessed to have had you i hope that you can find a way to participate um with junk to jewels whether it be craft wars whether it be painting with us for our fifth birthday we'll have more news coming that um about that tomorrow and then we also have our monthly creative crates um, which you can be a part of and then I will be on here with lives in the future for sure Just not 18 days in a row anytime soon, but um next week for sure expect to see me back making something. All right We'll see you later <laughs>